Prime Minister Mohidin Yassin today announced Putrajaya's latest economic recovery plan, which will involve wage subsidies, upskilling, tax holidays for investors, grants and other incentives. Muhyiddin said these measures were contained in the Pelanjana Samula Ekonomi Negara, or Panjana for short, which will involve 10 billion ringgit in direct fiscal injection. Strategi kerajaan dalam menangani cabaran COVID-19 merangkumi enam pendekatan atau dikenali sebagai 6R, iaitu ketegasan dalam bahasa Inggerisnya resolve, ketahanan, resilience, memulakan semula ataupun restart pemulihan yakni recovery memperkasa revitalize dan menyusun semula reform kita bakal memasuki tahap keempat sekarang ini iaitu pemulihan ataupun recovery in a live broadcast this afternoon, Mohidin added that these measures were vital as Malaysia and the rest of the world are experiencing unprecedented economic contraction and he expected unemployment to reach 5.5% by the end of 2020. The incentives include a 1 billion ringgit tourism financing scheme to assist the tourism sector, 300,000 disabled people and single mothers registered with the welfare department will be eligible to receive a one-off payment of 300 ringgit. The wage subsidy program to help employers retain employees will be extended for another three months. There is also something to boost the automotive sector. Kerajaan bersetuju untuk memberikan pengecualian cukai jualan sebanyak 100%. Ini saya sebutkan pengecualian cukai jualan sebanyak 100% ke atas penjualan kereta penumpang pemasangan tempatan dan 50% bagi kereta penumpang yang diimport bagi tempoh mulai 15 Jun 2020 hingga 31 Disember 2020. The government has also allocated 9 billion ringgit to benefit 3 million workers in dealing with unemployment. Meanwhile, Muhyiddin did not announce whether the conditional movement control order would end on June 9th as scheduled. The conditional MCO is enforced by means of a gazette which barred certain economic, social and educational activities from taking place.